Hello you two, this is Wednesday's math lesson and today we are going to compare numbers 1 to 100 using the greater than, less than and equal to symbols. Before we get on to using our symbols, let's just have a go at counting to 100 again. So if you would like to watch and listen to the song and join in, remembering to count forwards and backwards and put the numbers in order. Again, let's practice counting to 100. You can use this uh, 100 grid square, counting forwards and backwards and identifying numbers on the 100 grid square. Okay, so today we are looking at greater than, less than and equal to. And this is something that is not new to us. We have been looking at this in year one and we are going to continue with it in year two. We have three symbols that we are going to look at today. The greater than symbol, the less than symbol, and the equal to symbol. Now, lots of the times we talk about how they are the crocodile mouths. So remember that if the crocodile's mouth is facing this way, it means it's greater than. So just like here, the big part where it looks like the mouth is open, we want that to face the bigger number because we sometimes use the saying the crocodile wants to eat the greater number okay so you would point it towards the bigger number just like this the less than symbol here okay we want the point so this bit here the point so the head of the crocodile to face the smallest number so that would be less than OK, so remember the greater number, we need it open where it's big because it wants to eat the biggest number and the less than sign. We need the smaller, the little point to face that number because it's less than. We use the equal to symbol when the amounts are the same, when they are equal to themselves. What I would like you to do is I'd like you to have a listen to two of the songs here. You can listen to both or just one. It is up to you. They have a great way at showing greater than and less than and equal to symbols through songs and pictures. OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the three symbols. We have got the equal to symbol, the greater than because the mouth is open this way and the less than because the point is facing this way. I've got three sets of numbers here. I need to make sure that my symbols fit correctly when I'm describing the amounts of numbers. So I have 20 and 40. I need to think about these number, which number is greater, so the biggest, which number is the greater number? 20 or 40? Well, I know that 40 is the bigger number because it's got four tens, whereas 20 has only got two tens. So I would use the symbol, this one here. I would put that here, okay? And I would use the greater than. It reads at the minute, 20 is less than 40. 40 is greater than 20, okay? You can see the different points. Remember, if it's pointing, the small point here, so the head, it's pointing to the smaller number, so that means less than. If it's open, the bigger number, the mouth wants to eat the greater the number, okay? I wouldn't put an equal sign because they are not the same amount. Right, my next numbers. I have 31 and I have 15. The symbol that I'm going to use is here. I've put the greater than symbol facing 31 because that is the greater number, the larger amount. And the point is pointing to 15, making sure it is the smaller, the less than. So 31 is greater than 15. 15 is less than 31. And again, I don't need to use my equal to symbol because they are not the same amounts. My next two numbers, I've got 67 here and I've got 67 here. Now, I have got the same numbers. The amount is exactly the same. They equal the same. So that means I need to put 
my equal sign here. So my equal to sign here. What I would like you to do is I would like you to have a go at this activity. I want you to copy out the numbers and the boxes and put them onto your squared paper. Then I want you to identify which number is greater than, less than and equal to using the correct symbols. So think about the crocodile's mouth. It always wants to eat the larger number, so the greater than number. Another example here on the screen, just if you need some extra help. When you finish that, there is a challenge, okay? Now, you can see here that some numbers aren't given to you. You need to first work out the addition sum for each number. So, three add, no, uh, three add six is nine. So, I've got nine here and ten here. So, it might help you if you put the other number on top, okay? The answer to the addition sum, just so that you can see clearly which numbers you're looking at. Remember to use the greater than, less than, and equal to sign. And when you finish the challenge, I've put a game here for you to use. So click on the link and it will take you to the alligator, less than, and greater than game. Okay, and it starts off on level one and I think you can go up to level six. So I wonder which level you will get up to on that. Don't forget to add and attach all of your work onto Class Dojo so I can see who's doing some fab work.